That was a clip from The Flying Sailor, a film about the 1917 Halifax explosion. And this morning, that film was nominated for an Oscar for Best Animated Short Film. It was written and directed by Calgary filmmakers Wendy Tilby and Amanda Forbes. They are joining me now from Salt Lake City, Utah, where the film is also running. Hello, good morning, and congratulations. Thank you, Marcia. Good morning. Good How good morning. did you get the news? I guess like the rest of the world, we were watching the Academy site and uh, heard it as it was first uttered. Wow. And what was your reaction? We went nuts. <laughs> we went nuts. <laughs> well, well we, we climbed into one of the beds with our producer and our publicist. This, and when the an announcement came, we all popped out of bed with our arms in the air because we were overcome. <laughs> 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 it, was a, it was a silly moment, but we were genuinely... Thrilled. Very excited. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. my gosh. It's so exciting. This is the second time, right, that you've been nominated? Actually, it's the third. Third for both of you or third for one? I'm, I'm losing track. And so how, <laughs> how does it feel? As, well, it, it feels great. It's, a, it's um, you know, it's the cherry on the top of the Sunday, I guess. But we um, it, it just means that the film is being seen by more people and appreciated by more people it tells us that the film is being understood and uh and means a lot to us yes. it, it's it you know it's a lot of work making an animated film so this this makes it seem worthwhile tell us about the flying sailor and the story for people who are not familiar um well i'm assuming most canadians by now know about the halifax explosion in 1917, uh, when two ships collided and one of them blew up. And this sailor, in reality, was well, on the pier, and he was uh, hurled two kilometers and landed naked wearing one rubber boot. And so that was the, the genesis of the idea for us. And the film is not a historical piece in the sense it's not a documentary in any way. It's sort of more of an existential uh, ex a very visceral experience where we try to get inside the sailor and experience what he was experiencing or what we think he might have experienced. And it's silent. Oh, no. <laughs> it's very <laughs> noisy. Well, there's there's no dialogue. That's what I no mean. Voice. There's no yeah. voice. Yeah. There's no, yeah. That's right. But there is a lot of sound and uh, and some wonderful music by composer Luigi Alamano. Yeah. So now you're heading off to the Oscars. What's that like? A little terrifying. Uh, we we spent, obviously with COVID, we spent three years in our sweatpants making this film. And now to suddenly have to go down to Hollywood is a slightly overwhelming thought that we try not to dwell on too much because it's terrifying, but it's also gonna be fun. It's, you can't wear it's your very, soft pants. No, I know. Yeah. That's, a, that's right. It's a sad thing. Yeah. Soft dresses. <laughs> Soft dresses. All right. Um, so I have to ask you what you're working on now. And when you receive now three nominations, does it somehow impact the creative process when you're working on your next project? Hopefully not. You can't think of things like that when you're thinking up a new project. It, it's the wrong direction to go in. We, we never count any of those chickens when we're starting a project, but um, I think when we start a project, because they take years to make, we just want to be sure it's something we want to live with for a couple of years. So that's um, why we think very carefully about what we want to make a film about. But we're not quite there yet. We have, we have little uh, uh, kernels of ideas floating around at the moment, but nothing that we can talk about. Well, congratulations on the nomination and the film and all the success that you've had. We can't wait to see what happens on Oscar night. Uh, Wendy Tilby, Amanda Forbes, all the best to you. Hope to talk to you again Thanks. the day after the Oscars. Okay. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. And you can watch the 95th Oscars hosted by Jimmy Kimmel Sunday, March 12th at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific on CTV, ctv.ca, and on the CTV app. We'll be right back.